Well, the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology brings together the world's leading cancer researchers to share the latest data and clinical breakthroughs for all types of cancers. With us today is Dr. Uh, Louis J. DeGenero, President and CEO of Leukemia Lymphoma Society, the LLS, as well as leukemia survivor Loriana Hernandez to discuss the Cancer Advances LS, LLS Innovative Approach in Treating a Deadly Cancer. Welcome to both of you from New York City today. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning. What is the ASCO annual meeting and what happens there, sir? Well, you described it pretty well a minute ago. The American Society of Clinical Oncology is the world's largest meeting, scientific meeting, focused on cancer. It brings together 40,000 physicians and scientists to review the latest data coming out of clinical trials and research all in the pursuit of new therapies for cancer. Yes, sir, and speaking of latest data, any big news from this year's ASCO meeting? Lots of big news. Two things I want to tell you about. One is uh, in the arena of something we call immunotherapy, using the patient's own immune system to find and attack and eliminate the cancer. At the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, we helped pioneer that approach uh, in the blood cancers but the good news coming out of the conference was uh, that kind of treatment is now showing benefit for patients with other forms of cancer as well breast colon prostate maybe even pancreatic cancer yes, sir, I think uh, the second thing I wanted to share with you oh go ahead uh, well, you may be going right into my next question what is beat AML yeah. and how is it unique so beat AML, AML, acute myeloid leukemia, this is a blood cancer that uh, is very deadly. Uh, it is now the most frequently diagnosed leukemia in adults, 20,000, over 20,000 cases uh, this year alone in the United States. Sadly, this is one cancer where we have not had a significant advance in over 40 years. Beat AML is a Leukemia and Lymphoma Society funded program to find new therapies for this disease. We're currently running a clinical trial testing seven new drugs simultaneously to find new treatments for AML patients uh, like Loriana here who, who is with me uh, uh, sharing the stage. Yes sir, what is the next best thing in the uh, cancer research? Well, I, I think there are lots of advances, but what excites me the most in terms of what's next in cancer uh, research and treatment is the ability to use drugs in combination. We're starting to understand the pathways that are involved in driving cancer, and, and we're beginning to have a series of drugs that we can apply to attack those pathways. So we're going to take a card out of the deck of the way we learn to treat bacterial infections treating with more than one drug at the same time to really knock the infection out. I think that's the wave of the future for cancer treatment, uh, a, a mixture or a cocktail of drugs to provide, I'll call it a one-two punch to take out the cancer. Absolutely, yes sir. Loriana, uh, you are an acute uh, myeloid leukemia survivor. Can you tell us your cancer story? We've got about a minute left. I'm sorry we're short on a little bit of time, but can you, oh, tell, us about okay. yours? Can you tell us about your story? Sure. Absolutely. I was a former news anchor and fitness and health reporter and for more than 20 years. And when I was diagnosed, I was in the best shape of my life. Never thought it would happen to me. Never thought the tables would turn on me. And when I was diagnosed, there were so many people coming at me from so many different directions. I called LLS and they really helped steer the ship. And within 36 hours, I had an oncologist from Johns Hopkins say, we have a bed waiting for you. Say goodbye to your son. But was, what was so astonishing is they said, say goodbye to your son for a whole year. You're either not going to make it because it's such a deadly cancer or we're going to have you here for a year. And the treatment hasn't changed in 40 years. And I thought, well, that is unacceptable to any reporter. I wanted to dig for answers. And so when I heard about this Beat AML initiative here that could drastically change the landscape and give people like me hope, since there are still to this day is no official cure, I wanted to just find out how I could spread the message and use my platform from TV and help spread the LLS message of the great work that they're doing because I have a five-year-old son who needs me and there are people, countless people, millions who are suffering right now who have family members who need them. So my story is much bigger than me and my purpose is to help others. More people survive and those who do survive have a better quality of life and not suffer with all the problems I have now because the chemo is so toxic. Thank you so very much for being here and, and sharing your story. And doctor, where can we get a little bit more information? Two places, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society website, 
lls.org. And certainly if you're a patient, give us a call. We can help you right now at 800-955-4572. Wonderful. Thank you both for being here today with such a, a very you. important topic and a lot of research going on, and hopefully they can find a cure in a very short period of time. Thank, Thank you. you. Someday is today. And we're back in just a moment with more Low Country.